Welcome to the Central Gov Strategy Forum. Today I have with me Baroness Hannam, who is the Parliamentary Under Secretary of State for Communities and Local Government. Uh, welcome, Minister. Thank you. Minister, um, the government is committed to shifting uh, power from uh, Whitehall to local government, uh, and even indeed to individuals. Um, how is it achieving that? Well, well d by doing precisely that. I mean, central government has had control over what local authorities have done for a very long time. It controls entirely the money they receive, the grants they receive, and it has dictated for the last um, a number of years the targets that they have got to achieve and the way they have got to run their services. Uh, we believe that that is just um, too much, that uh, it is our job to provide and be responsible for um, the money that goes to be accountable for it, but that having passed it down, um, that they should then get on with it. The, the, what we are doing subsequently and at the moment is to ensure that they can keep at least a proportion of the business rates, that they don't have to hand them into central government, but they keep it and then they are adjusted. So that should give them an incentive for growth um, and to get unemployment down in their areas. And what progress is being made so far? Well, a lot has been made. The Local Gov Localism Act, uh, which we took through Parliament last year, got royal assent in 2011, sets the framework for making local government responsible for everything that goes on. It gives um, greater greater responsibility to um, local people to get involved in things like planning, planning decisions, um, making uh, decisions if the council decides to raise the council tax um, over and above what is being um, uh, recommended. They would have to have a referendum. So it begins to pull local people remorselessly in uh, to what is going on in their areas. Is this not just a sleight of hand by the government though to bl be able to blame local communities or, or local government when things go wrong? No, I don't think it's a sleight of hand at all. Um, this is a very genuine move to make local authorities or to give local authorities what they've asked for. Uh, for a very long time, which basically is responsibility without government interference for what they do in their local areas, for their prime responsibility for setting the policies and for, or for delivering those. So uh, that, I don't think anybody would disagree, is what is happening. The um, transference to the lo local people will need encouraging. We, we accept that. Uh, but again, it's important that they do see the decisions being made around them are really for them and that they put their voice in and make it heard. What part has the uh, so-called big society got to play in the Localism Act? Well, the big society is, as you know, um, largely by bringing in uh, volunteers, voluntary organisations, the community um, into what is going on. And they will be very much involved. We've got we put forward proposals for the right to challenge, which is to for local groups to, or and perhaps members of staff to get together to challenge their local authority on the standard of service they're providing in any particular service and to say that actually they could take it over um, and run it. So there's a big emphasis on, on voluntary um, organisations doing that. And I think we see that volunteers and voluntary organisations have and always have had a big role to play, um, but that they are more than capable of providing um, the services to a standard and in a way that um, people who are receiving them like. So what are your specific expectations of the changes that local government now needs to make and, and what differences will the public in particular see? Well, I think the differences that are going to come about is that they are going to need to cooperate together uh, far more closely than they have done. In the, local government has been siloed um, over years in that each local authority was responsible solely for everything within its boundaries. Um, because for, for a number of reasons, now things like procurement, um, shared services are going to need to be shared by authorities uh, across the piece. So um, I think that that change will come about. I don't know that actually residents will see that much difference, except that there will be much greater control over finances, um, much greater involvement with 
three, four, five local authorities um, getting together to um, procure contracts. And I think that's the, it's, it's the digging away or the moving away from individual local authorities being solely responsible to them cooperating with others. Now, by and large, each local authority will stay in charge of its own um, policy, its own area, but those can be expanded and extended across other local authorities um, to make sure they're all working as economically as they can. The government is really very committed um, to ensuring that local authorities take on responsibility, that they um, do it effectively, um, but they do it with a good will. Baroness Hannum, thank you very much for your time. At all.